Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, um, at the end of the day, you know, in our community, and particularly the black community, image is everything. And the problem is our image is heavily under attack. Not only by our women in our own community, but people outside of our community. You know, whites, other non-blacks. They love to make black men, you know, basically the highlight, the talking point of anything negative. You know. With the exception of when we bounce in a basketball or we on TV singing, dancing and rapping or whatever the case may be. Then that's when they love us till we no longer can generate revenue. You know, then they toss us to the side like yesterday's, you know, newspaper. You know, so. At the end of the day, I don't like what's going on, but then you have a lot of black men that contribute to the negativity. They give a lot of these people ammo. Not that people from, you know, the palm, you know, colored species or the melanist mutants or the, non or the other non-black ethnicities not doing the same thing, but, you know, they only want to highlight what black men do. But nevertheless, like I said, you have one contributing to it, and his name is Curtis Jackson. And I just saw a video that just really disturbed me, not only as a man, a black man, and a father of a 22-year-old son. And I was just looking at, you know, his son, Marquise, to speak and it's bad how 50 Cent and his son Marquise are at odds. You know, and i seen this video. I don't know how long it's, it, it, it was, how long ago it was. But, you know, he was just speaking on a lot of different things. And he was responding to when, you know, uh, Curtis said that that piece of shit snitch bitch Mexican you know who was more of his son than, than Marquise. And I just think 50 Cent just, you know, act like a real bitch for that. You know, for real. Marquise is his son, not that cornball Mexican snitch, snitch bitch. Because that's what he is. He is snitch bitch. You know, and his, his, his status has declined dramatically, which it, which I'm glad it, it has, you know. But he thought he was slick trying to put out something on his Instagram and he thought people was going to bite and talk about it. Ain't nobody talking about your sorry ass. You're not getting no free publicity from me. But if Curtis spent as much time trying to patch his relationship with his son as he does... Uh, sniffing up and kissing up to Eminem the better off him and his son's relationship would be now before you come on here because I know some 50 cent nut hugger is going to come on here defend, well his son Marquise is, is, is grown why don't he reach out Marquise is grown well how old is Eminem what 48 well, 50 cent will Defend him like it's nobody's business. This man then. This man then tried to start fights. Threatened to fight Nick Cannon and other people. You know what I'm saying? And he already displayed that weird ass text that Eminem said to him about coming out there to ride his. Oh man, I ain't even go. Whatever, man. But I'm just saying, you know, you can just tell that Marquise is, 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 you know, wants to hear from his dad because that's his father. 
And this is why you have these, you know, these stained, these, these altered, these fucked up relationships between black fathers and black sons. It's a cycle and it needs to stop. For real. You know, I made sure that I was in my son's life. Despite me and his mother not being together. I didn't give two fucks about me and her breaking up. All I wanted to do is be involved in my son's life. And I made sure that she didn't cut me out of my son's life. She tried to. But I fought her ass to for now. And eventually, in court, I prevailed. You know what I'm saying? And I know for some of us fathers out there, it is difficult when sometimes you have a difficult mother. Because, like I said, I know black women like to exclude they self from the problem, but a lot of times they the problem, too. I say this time and time again. A black woman or a black man should never bash the other parent in front of the children or the child. That's a no-no. No matter what you think of that man or that woman, you keep that shit to yourself. But you don't never bash your child's mother or their father in front of the child or to them. That's a no-no. And that's something that happens a lot in our community. It's certain things that we have to come clean about. Like I say, it's certain things that we have to take accountability about. And 50 Cent needs to take accountability. Because like I said before, 50 Cent got all the time in the world to troll and start beefs and talk shit about people. And most of the time, he only starts beefs with people that look like him. He seemed to disappear when somebody, you know, that's part of the mayonnaise nation you know do something he seen to disappear he can't seem to find his twitter or his instagram fingers and like i said before if he put forth the effort to patch things up with his son like he do trolling everybody talking shit about floyd mayweather talk shit about his former co-stars you know in, in the power series. Because like I said before. 50 Cent ain't got the best reputation in the world. A lot of people. Don't trust him. Or, or fuck with him. Because they think he's a snitch. And it's been sort of proven. That he's a snitch. Because the paperwork. Has showed up. Now you you know you gonna have fifty cent detract you, you know fifty cent apologists. Oh man, where's the man? We seen the paperwork, and we and, and we seen the paperwork that he filed a restraining order against Murder Inc. and Ja Rule. That's that's fact. But yeah, man, fifty cent need to worry about Marquise instead of Eminem. Marshall Bruce matters. I don't understand how some of these niggas always want to protect Eminem's white ass. Eminem is a 48 year old man. That beef was between him and Nick Cannon. When Eminem came out with those racist ass songs, you had black people trying to talk on his behalf now, I expect a, a powdered milk village person to defend Eminem, but at the end of the day, nobody cares what you think. Y'all know I don't give a damn what y'all think. Your opinion means nothing to me because, one, you're not me. You're not qualified to talk hip-hop with me. It's black excellence. It's black art. It's something that we created. You just capitalized off of it and exploited it for profit, and you diluted the product, the essence of it, so like I said, I don't give a damn what you think when it comes to You don't tell me or my people what we need to move on from. Fuck you. You don't tell me to let go of that cracker saying all that racist shit about black people and black women. Get out of here. It's bad enough that we say it. But then you damn sure don't have the right. And then in music, we are going backwards with them 
promoting women like Megan the Stallion and, and and Cardi B. But for real, I just wanted to say this and get this off my chest about one Curtis Jackson. Talk to your son, dude. For real, man. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.